Hello. So this is uh, nothing about speakers. So yeah, you can <laughs> you can um, you know leave this video if you're not interested in uh, anything um, CNC or at least in this case uh, cutting stuff. Now I bought a new spindle. This is a water cooled spindle, so uh, it has like these intake outtake. Not sure which one is which, but. Um, the reason is, um, well, first of all, I want to make a new CNC machine anyway, so I need another spindle. And I thought, you know, I'll just, before I'll finish the machine, which can take like a zillion years, in my case, I'll try a spindle that is uh, a little bit more accurate. At least I hope it is. So I put one of these uh, indication dials in there. It's not a puppy... I don't know what the name is. Well, it's a it's a more regular, simple spindle. Oh, uh, what bleh, indication dial? So there is a pin here that if I move it upwards, you see the needle go berserk. Uh, it's not the most accurate. I well, I don't know if it's most accurate, but at least the um, resolution is zero point zero. One millimeter, which is not insane, but good enough. There is an old video, a really old video, when I just finished my machine, and well, at least it's not so much I finished the machine. I finished the machine, I think, a year earlier, or maybe one and a half. But my first uh, high-frequency spindle, and I'll show it here in the background. And the I use the same dial indicator uh, to measure it on the CNC machine itself, and I'm probing the nose. So this thing is called the nose. I believe it's called the nose. I'm not sure. I hope so. At least it is meant for a ER20 collet, which is if I can get it out. Oh, it's one of those. This one. Now the nose is like tapered and this will fit in there and I will squish this together which will hold the tool. So if this is accurate it should like clamp the cutter all around evenly and the uh, cutter should be in the middle and be you know uh, ha has no run out so no wobbly. So if I move this out of the way, for now. So there's the spindle nose, if it's called like that, but I believe it is. So this will fit in here. And when you push it, it squishes the cutter. In this case, the nut will do that. And on the nut, there's a taper here as well that will fit to this taper. So that's the deal. Now, <clears throat> run out on this usually indicates how good the shaft is and the bearings and such. Well, not how good the bearings are, but at least uh, how much uh, run out there is on the whole thing. So the bearings and also the machining on the spindle nose. Now, this is advertised. It's a bit advertised as a five micron which would be uh, more or less um, less than 0 0.01 because that's 10 microns, so half of one of those lines. You can see this dial indicator is pretty hard to put to zero, so I might not even try. But if I turn it, Something like this. Now I'll turn the spindle nose and see how what 
or how much it's moving. <laughs> so it is moving, but hardly anything. So I believe, according to this, the spindle nose has even less than <coughs> five mic micron because it's not even moving like half, half of one of those stripes. Now the problem I'm having, and I'm not sure, maybe I'm measuring it wrong. If I attach a collet with a cutter, and I'll use a cutter of a good brand, like really expensive cutters, at least for me. It's like 40 euros for a cutter, almost. We are left with the combination of the run out from this part, as well as this collet, this cutter, and this nut. So let's try that. So the part we're interesting in uh, is, is like this part. So I can only measure here. You can imagine that if there's run out here, there's even more run out here at the tip of the cutter. So is it important to have almost no run out? Yes, it is because, well, uh, it, it becomes bigger and bigger. Oh, I have to get some spanners. Now I have to take, there is a cutting edge here, so I uh, don't want to put it on there because that's gonna give us a really weird result. My phone would even do better than this one, okay. So there we are, let's see. Wow. One, two, around two. So that's 20 micron. So we had almost nothing in the nose and we're only, oh, whoops, this far out and that's already almost 20 micron. Now, all of this is not a surprise. I mean, it becomes bigger. But the only weird thing I had with the old spindle, I measured it in between a few times. If I measure the nose, it's like 0 0.04, which is already 40 micron, so very bad. Now, if I attach a collet and a, um, a nut and a cutter, I measure around 0 0.05, which is 5, 50 microns, which is more than I measure right now. But it's still kind of weird. It should be far less on this one compared to the other one. So I'm not sure what's happening there. Now, of course, you can have luck. Let's say that the collet has a run out, the nut has a run out. And if you put them together, Oh, and also the nose has a run out. You know, if all stars align, you will have far less run out than normal, or you have even worse run out than normal. Now, I tried it so many times that I should have insane run out and also very low run out, but it's quite consistent. So I'm not sure where the run out is coming from. 
It might be the cutter, but I, I don't think so. It's it's a pretty uh, expensive brand cutter, and the rest is all Chinesium. Now this is a the color I use is a precision precision color, still probably Chinese, but the better one and the nut as well. So I don't know. So this is yeah, really it's it's twenty micron. 20 micron here, so you can imagine what it is right here. There's probably uh, something you can calculate from that, but uh, I'm not too great in math. So that's like two centimeters away, and you can probably calculate how much run that you would have here, which is probably more in the region of like, I don't know, 40, 50, maybe even more. Hmm, yeah, so far I'm not disappointed with this one. But I wonder why the old one, which has a really shitty run out in the nose itself, still has a also more shitty than this one <laughs> when you measure it on the cutter. But it's not a, a ratio that is uh, you would expect, it should be far worse. So yeah, if anyone knows how to measure this more properly, I don't know. You could have a bar that is longer, so you have like, the numbers will become bigger. I have one of those uh, rods. But the question will remain, is this thing straight on its own? And uh, my guess is it might not be. So that's no help to us. So if anyone has uh, an idea how to measure this properly, but um, yeah, let me know. But this still 20 microns is for a Chinese spindle maybe okay. But I do wonder if the problem is my nut, the collet nut, or the collet itself, or just the fact that we extend something from that tiny run out we have on the nose which was almost not visible, so I can't imagine that it more than quadruple only by the length. So one of these, either the nut or the collet or the cutter, which I, yeah, hardly, I doubt, is screwing this up even more. Maybe we could check if I spin the collet like a tiny bit if that becomes better, then it's the color. Let's try that. That's a good method to at least say the color is not good. Or the nut. Yeah, that remains. Uh... So now what I'm gonna do. I rotate the collet like half and try again There you go. Ah, annoying. Now it's less than one. So less than uh, one, uh, less than 10 micron. Okay, here we go. It's less than one now, 0 0.01. And it's even on the edge, so it's not even positioned right. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's like uh, 7 microns instead of um, 20 microns I had when before I like rotated the collet a little bit like uh, not a full rotation like half a rotation so now my question uh, yeah anyone know because it becomes better but it might still be the combination of all three four actually but I still it might be the collet itself which is crooked but it could also be the noise where it's the nose where it's fitted in or the nut how can I measure that maybe it's not the way you do it I think but I might try it anyway I can check maybe I can try this So now there is no nut. I don't see anything move. Let's try and rotate the collet and push it in again. And there we go. Hmm, it doesn't explain it anyhow. I mean, it could still be all of all of those. I don't think it's the cutter, and I have no way of measuring that. But if it's expensive, usually it's a little bit better. Yeah, it is clean, so that's not the problem. Anyhow, if anyone knows how to measure or determine which one is at fault, uh, but it might be all four of them or all three. So, to me, my option is buy an even better color. Or buy a, a better nut. An ER20 nuts, I don't know, there are not many around. Or at least not much different. So it might be these or these. The cone itself doesn't have a huge amount, so mostly it's coming from this and the fact that the cutter extends. Well, that's a not at all short video, so sorry about that, but I just wonder about it and maybe there are some uh, viewers that know more than me about this kind of stuff. Because, uh, well, I'm a noob. See ya. Uh, happy holidays, by the way.